I'm Anil Kumar and here is another test question multiple choice on polynomials. Polynomial with three linear zeros, two even degree zeros and a cubic zero will have how many turning points? You can pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. So what we have here is three linear zeros. So let's count number of zeros, number of zeros. Three linear means there are three zeros and all are degree one. Is it okay? Two even degrees. So we have got two zeros which could be of degree let's say two or four something like this. Is it okay? So we'll just assume that to be of degree two. And a cubic zero. So one zero which is of degree 3. We also call instead of degree, we use the term multiplicity. Let me write down here. Or sometimes order. Right? So these are more commonly used. Multiplicity or order. Right? So instead of degree, we could use multiplicity or order. So that is given to you. You need to find how many turning points will this function have? Will it have 5, 6, 7, 8 or the information is insufficient? I hope now the question is absolutely clear. You can actually uh, work out and then check with my solution. Well, the formula, I will give you a formula which will give you number of zeros. Number of zeros is equal to, I should say, I should say number of turning points, I'm sorry number of turning points. Number of turning points is actually based on number of zeros, right? So number of turning points is equal to number of zeros minus one plus number of even zeros. That's the formula. So number of turning points in this case will be, we've got three, two, five, and one, six zeros. There are six zeros in all, take away one, and how many of them are even? 2 plus 2. Since at even 0, we have an additional term. That is why we have this 2 here, right? So the total number is equal to 6 minus 1 is 5. 5 plus 2 is 7. So 7 is the right answer. You could do like this or you could even sketch the scenario, right? So let me, let me sketch the scenario for you. When we are saying that we have got 3 degree 1 0, right? So let's say degree 1 0 means what? Means that the function will kind of 1, 2 and 3. So these 3 are degree 1. It will just cross, correct? Now we got 2 of degree 2 or even. So it will like kind of turn, bounce back. Do you see that bouncing back? And then we are saying that we have a degree 3 0. So it has to come back at that zero and you kind of go like this. This is not a turning point. Perfect. Perfect. So, so what do you get? You can now count the turning points. One, two, three, four, five, six, and one, seven, right? So that is simpler case. Straight away from the given scenario, you could sketch a graph and then figure out if not, use the formula and work it out. I have given you the graph and the formula so that you could test and use the formula whenever required. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.